tonight on Bring It. Thank you guys so much for coming out to the Hurricane Harvey Showcase. We're gonna be raising money for the teams that have lost their studios due to the Hurricane Harvey in Texas. I'm just trying to stay strong for my students. It's the fourth week of the competition season, and I'm still looking for my newest captain. So my six potential captains, you guys are going to battle it out for a spot in the call-out round. And I'm going to add a little bit of a twist, and I'm going to put Jaylene in the mix. Well, surprise, surprise. DDP, y'all ain't getting off this week either. Y'all got to come up with some type of fundraising ideas to raise money as well. No, 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 no. I need this, Mariah. Please let go. These two, they're like oil and water. Seems like she's had it out for me since the first day I got here. You the one that keep on coming for me. Let's get it, let's go. Hey, Diana. Hey. How you doing? Tired, but OK. This week is going to be really different, because what I wanted to do has been totally blown out of the water. OK, what are we doing? So because of everything that's happening with the hurricanes, and Texas has been affected tremendously, I'm going to put together a charity event so that the girls can dance for charity, and then we can try to help out some of the dance teams that have been affected in Texas. All right. But the biggest thing for me is that I have to take the girls off of probation because I do want them to participate in what we're doing this week because it is for charity. Um, they was like really, really bad last week. Like really bad. Are you sure that you want to take them off probation? This is not about them. So I'm going to put aside their punishment and we're going to deal with this together. That's really good. That's really, really good. So I'm going to let you handle that and I'm going to go and twirl with these girls ahead and get my life. Bye. Bye, Tor. Hey, everybody have a seat. I want to have a, a serious conversation with you guys. So DDPs out there, I hope you guys are paying attention because the morning announcements are about to begin. Homeroom, the bell has rang. Ding, 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 pay attention. So, I know you guys have been kind of watching the news and there's been a lot going on around the world right now with natural disasters. I've been hearing from a lot of coaches, and a lot of them have been affected by the hurricanes, particularly Hurricane Harvey. And I've been trying to figure out, like, what actually could I do to try to help them? So what I have decided to do was to put together a showcase called the Hurricane Harvey Relief Showcase. We'll charge a fee, and all of the money that we make from that event is going to go to charity for Hurricane Harvey and to help, help these teams get back on their feet. I've grabbed my Rolodex, and I've literally called every dance team and every rival that we've ever gone up against to put everybody together under one roof to create this huge event. The Jackson and Birmingham Dancing Dolls are going to be my featured performers in the field show portion of the Hurricane Harvey Showcase, and it's going to be one that everybody's going to never forget. The showcase is going to have teams that we compete against and some that we haven't competed against that have been affected by it and those that haven't been just to come together as one, help these teams get back on their feet. I'm Diamond Taylor, the owner of Dance the Dream Studios, and this is my studio that was affected by Hurricane Harvey. Water came all the way in here, this height. It's just really emotional. The studio not being open right now is really a tremendous loss. Right now, we're operating out of the Lakewood Park and our parking lot. Mm -hmm. It's been very challenging. Just grateful that I'm, I have breath to be able to rebuild, because that's what I'm going to do. Not only are we putting together this Hurricane Harvey relief event, 
but we're also gonna put together a Dance Like a Doll workshop. You're gonna teach girls who may have never danced before to dance like a doll. We'll charge a fee to send to Harvey. This is something we have never done before. This is something that's gonna affect people's lives. So I really hope we do a good job. DDP, y'all ain't getting off this week either. Y'all gotta come up with some type of fundraising idea to raise money as well. And Tina, I'm putting you in charge, so it's on your head and you can't get everybody out there together. Okay, so y'all, what are we doing with this charity thing? What we got going on? We're just gonna have to work together and come up with a great idea so that this charity event blows all the way up. Okay, well, how about a talent show so we can show off all our skills? Nobody wants to pay to see you tap dance. I think we should do a bake sale. What y'all think, bake sale? That's easy, Everybody brown. Everybody gotta cooking. know how to bake. That's not enough money, no way. We're trying to help the hurricane victims. Yeah. How about something we can charge more for? How about we do some gumbo? What's gumbo? What's gumbo? Is that a southern thing? Oh, my God. Oh, my God. Mariah, you ain't never heard of gumbo? I see we're going to have to teach this New Yorker a little something about the South. Girl, everybody down South loves gumbo. OK, so we're going to make gumbo, see who gumbo's the best, and I'm going to be the judge. OK, OK. I don't know whether it was my brain or my stomach, but I feel like it is a great idea. Well, we'll get this gumbo thing going. Oh, but yeah. right now, we got some oh, dolls that we need to be trying to see what's oh, going yeah. on. Which we're also gonna have a call-out round. Because we're helping Texas, the girls on probation will get a chance to participate. Yes, call-out round. I am so excited, yes! So, my six potential captains, you guys are going to battle it out for a spot in the call-out round. And I'm gonna add a little bit of a twist, and I'm gonna put Jaylene in the mix. Well, surprise, surprise. She threw Jaylene in yes, for the call-out round. Here we go! The challenge is over the top important, but it's an opportunity for me to see the individuality of each dancer, how well they handle themselves under pressure, and if one of these girls can be my next captain. running because she's so clean. She's super sharp. She has a lot of energy and a little bitty body. Now that's my princess. All right, princess. Yeah, Princiana. Christiana's been with me on the Dancing Dolls since she was about four years old. And she's definitely the front runner for captain. But she can't sleep on anybody. This is how we dance. Don't care. diverse style in all things technical. What I don't want is for Jaylene to change up her style. I don't want her to change who she is as a dancer. I just want her to grow and to elevate. And now I'm gonna discuss with Mr. Tory and the seniors to see who my top spots are gonna go to. But we just have to make sure that we have versatile dancers out there on the floor. So the three that we chose, drum roll. Christiana. Bye, Christy. Princess. We conquered Memphis. Now we trying to conquer Jackson. You just hold on to your seat, baby. And last, Jaylene. I see, say, I said. That's how you do it. Not bad for a newbie who just walked on, right? Trash talking now, ready? First call out. Yeah. Jaylene gets to show off her skill. And I just want to run in there and be like, oh, yes, I knew you could do it. I knew it, I knew it. And tell Diana, you're not going to regret it. Like, what is she thinking? Jaylene not even a potential captain. Christiana going up against a newbie? That's not right. What's wrong with Jaylene being a call-out round? I mean, if Diana sees potential in Jaylene, why can't she be featured? No one else seems to have a problem with me. It's like Valisa is threatened by me or Jaylene. I don't know. I don't know what it is.
mom is gonna kill that gumbo cook-off, right? I mean, <laughs> those DDPs have no idea about the Puerto Rican spiciness. So, how do you feel about this weekend? You know, your first call out round. I'm a bit nervous because I am a newbie. I know you are nervous, but don't be nervous. You got this. Diana chose you. She saw something in you. But I am concerned because I don't want to let Miss D down because she is putting me out there. And I don't want to let down the girls either. So the, the pressure is kind of building up. Well, I'm going to give you a little advice, you know, from your mama. Do not be intimidated. I'm pretty sure some of the girls are a little intimidated by you. It don't matter. And I'm pretty sure some of the moms are intimidated by you. It doesn't matter. You do you. You do what you have to do. You're here for a reason. You made it very clear that you wanted to do this, and we're doing this. I'm gonna kill it. Girl. Oh, <laughs> no, you did. So, Christiana, how was school today? You was fine. Be like, I'm super mom, you're super girl. Because you are in call out round. I feel good because this is my time to shine and I want to show everybody that I am fit for captain. That's right, baby. You gonna shine. And Coach D ain't gonna have no other choice but to make you captain. I want to see Christiana be the next captain of the Dancing Dog. And I most definitely know that she's gonna do what she has to do on her end to go and get it. This whole six captain stuff is <laughs> Give me some, girl. Yes! Ladies, we okay. got this. We ready. We ready all for right, this. All right, all right. Cook all. <gasps> We're going to come up with the best gumbo recipe to raise money for the Hurricane Harvey event. So I reserve a community kitchen where the DDPs can have a gumbo cook-off, where I can be the judge, jury, and the executioner. Mimi, Dana, y'all working as a team. If you need my help with anything, I'm willing to help. Mimi, Valisa, and Morela all think they have the best gumbo. So with the help of the other DDPs, everybody's gonna cook their gumbo. We're gonna have a taste test to figure out whose gumbo we'll be serving up for charity. Morela, you say you don't know what gumbo, so what you got? I'm making a sopao. A so In Puerto Rico, we don't have the same thing as gumbo, but we have something called asopao. Está muy caliente, and everybody else's gumbo, might as well throw it out. So let's I don't go. know about y'all, but I got work to do. Yes. yes. Dana needs to know about the pot. I'm excited about this challenge. We're working for a good cause. We're raising money. We're off the porch. It's what the DDP should be doing. Five people, you know. Okay, so instead of us having regular practice, we're gonna put together an event. It's called Dance Like a Doll. Tomorrow's the Dance Like a Doll charity event in Jackson, and there's a lot of work to do because I have to teach my girls how to coach to make sure that these kids that are coming to the event have an amazing time. And we're gonna take the money that they give you guys from the workshop and donate it to the victims of Hurricane Harvey. Everybody got it? All right, girls, split into five groups. Make sure that the choreography that you create is easy enough for any girl in the community to be able to learn. You got, got my got onions, you. girl. Know what to do. Know what to do. We ain't got nobody podcast. Queen says she got this. I have the advantage. This gumbo finna be on here. It's, it's gonna be real good. Like, smack your mama good. Where is it? I girl? need this. Excuse me. You're not gonna do that to me. I, you are, you you is not even using that. No, 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 no. I need this, Mariah. What that mean? Me play like, go. Y'all can stop that. We, we cooking gumbo. She all over here in my Kool-Aid. I don't know if Alisa is jealous of Mariah because Jaylene is getting recognized, or if Mariah is jealous of Christiana for God knows what. But it's all coming out over this gumbo. I'm not gonna help you if you ain't gonna help yourself. I'm done. Well, why y'all got to argue about everything? We're not arguing. It's Marela. We're not arguing. I don't know why Valisa's picking on me, but it's not my fault Diana recognizes talent and Jalen. Don't take it out on me. Ooh. Uh, 
You're not supposed to cut it like that. You're supposed to cut it like at an angle. For a second. I'm not having this today. These kids definitely need a damn wake up call. For the event that's happening, and with you, some of you not taking this as serious as I would have expected to, it's a little disheartening. Understand that the people that we are going to help have nothing. They don't have anything. They're practicing outside in the parking lot because their studios are flooded or are gone. It's so easy to take things for granted because, I mean, the world could turn on you in, in a heartbeat. You want to make sure that you have gratitude and be gracious because these things can be taken away from you. You go home every night, sleep in the bed, you got heat, you walking on carpet or hardwood floor, you can go to the bathroom and brush your teeth in clean water, you have a toothbrush, you have all these things. But what about the folks that don't? Being a dancing doll is always and has been more than about just being a competitor. You have to be humble, you have to have compassion, and you have to show love and respect for others. There are people that are going through these types of things and you have an opportunity to make an impact on just a few. The people that are within the same dance community that we're in, that don't have anything. Y'all got it? All right, let's get up. I think this is a really great cause. This shows another side of the dancing dolls and emotionally connected side to show that we actually do care about the other teams as well. Come back seven. Throw it eight. First. One. That's one. That's Where's one. Okay, I can't tell. All right. That's a tater. All right. All right. Here we go. Cup number two. Mm, that's good. One more. All right. Your dad got some on my foot. Uh-huh. Uh-huh. Mm. Mm. Come on, teacher. Just say gumbo number three. Okay, you have been unveiled. So. For the great cause of our hurricane relief charity, mm -hmm. that we're gonna be slanging gumbo for the weekend, will be gumbo number three! <laughs> and you have Faith's mom, Cameron's mom. We're gonna win at any cost. It doesn't matter, we're going to win. Thank you, Sammy. Y'all, let's enjoy. Today we're having the Dance Like a Doll event for the victims of Hurricane Harvey, and I'm really excited about this turnout. Hi, everybody! All right, hi to everyone in the stands as well. All right, so what we're gonna do is that you guys are gonna learn basic major red moves, you're gonna learn how to put together an intro, and you're gonna also learn hip hop. The money that you guys paid to come in is going to be donated to help Gain relief for the people of Hurricane Harvey. I'm at the Dance Like a Doll event, and I'm such a big fan of the dolls because they are nice, um, they dance, and they know how to stay out of trouble. With dancing dolls, we do things very quickly, we learn very fast, and we also encourage one another. While the girls are doing their Dance Like a Doll event, we're taking our gumbo to the streets in a food truck. Now, who doesn't like comfort food gumbo? I believe we're about to make some serious money. Hurricane Relief, $4 a bowl. Oh, for my <laughs> for my hurricane Relief. You see, this is, you see, I almost fall over. You try, what? Hello. Hello. Some yes. gumbo. Thank you. Oh, okay, baby, we got another bowl. Woo! Me and Tina are slinging the shit out of this gumbo, and people are loving it. Yeah, we got that. So, hey up, five, six, seven, eight. Left, right, left, right, five, down, six, up, buck, buck. What? What? You are cut. Uh-uh-uh, get off my flow. Got it? OK. Hip, step back. As a graduating doll this season, I think that these little girls would be the next new faces of the Dancing Dolls. And that's really sweet. 
day like how I walk, how I talk, how I move with so sassy. See me dance, see me twirl and work it. Oh, I'm so fast. I thought Rudy was going to yell at all of us, but she didn't yell at none of us because we caught on quickly. Gumbo has been brewing like yes. some other stuff in the kitchen. Yes, like what is really up with Mirela and Valisa? It's a lot of tension going on. I know Valisa feel like she's paying so much attention to Jaylene. Between us, do y'all really think that Diana's considering Jaylene for captain? I don't know. Diana making some strange moves because she chose her for the solo. I mean, she focusing a lot on Jaylene. It's like she playing her cards close to her vest on this one. It's true. You might be right. I want to thank you guys for coming to the Dance Like a Dog camp. If you had fun, let me hear you say, oh, yeah. Oh, yeah. The dolls have taken all of these girls and meshed them together and have really worked them out with amazing choreography. And we've made a lot of money. Today has been amazing watching the dolls sit back and work. Let me hear you say, dee, dee, fuck up. All right, bye, you guys. Hey. Come on, bring me the meat. At the end of the day, we get together and realize that we have actually pulled this off. Y'all did good? Yay! Yeah. We got money stacked to the ceiling. Do you hear me? You gonna keep that sign? You gonna keep it? So not only are we over at the gumbo fundraiser, we got a box of the uniforms too. The fact that Diana put on this event is for a good cause. And I'm hoping that this event is successful and it will turn out great. Yeah. This this whole thing say red. <laughs> Here you go, ma'am. Take it. Wait, no, we're not gonna fight. Okay, let's keep going, we shall we? Go. It was my New York Street Smarts that brought in the big bucks. Mm -hmm. Whatever. Hollering. Oh. Mm -hmm. oh, well look, y'all new moms, y'all been going at it too much, y'all been bickering. What is going on? She's a little aggressive. And it seems like she's had it out for me since the first day I got here. You the one that keep on coming for me. And y'all doing all this while we doing something good for the victims of Hurricane Harvey. All of us are just sick and tired of these two. We have no time to be getting involved in schoolyard games this week. I'm just sick of her. She keep jumping up and down, running her mouth. Her son and her daughter have been here for 10 seconds, and my daughter, Christiana, has been here for 10 years. That's right, Morayla. Your daughter is the shining star. Nobody likes a bragger. But I do know something about respect, and you don't have any. You act like everything that comes to you is owed to you with this smugly little smile. Valisa says that I'm smug and I have an attitude. But as a mom, I'm proud of Jaylene. And who here isn't excited about their daughter doing good as a dancing doll? I'm not smug. I'm just nervous because I did move from New York to over here. Valisa doesn't like you because you're from New York? No, at first, I thought it was that. But now, she's made it clear that it's because Jaylene has been getting too much attention from Diana. No, that, not at all. It just seems like it's been a misunderstanding. Okay, come on, one of y'all say something. Valisa, just say something good about Mirela. Um, I think she has a, a great personality. Mirela? I think Valisa is a hardworking mother, and she, you can tell she cares deeply about Christiana. It ain't take but two seconds. <laughs> Been arguing all damn week. <laughs> I don't think Valisa and I are gonna be friends overnight, if ever, but I'm going to be conscious of what I say, and I'm going to let things roll off my back. It's positive energy from here on out. Sometimes family don't like each other, and that's fine. But we got to do this. We're going to stick together as DDP. So. <laughs> One oh, and a two and a three. DDP for The Jackson and Birmingham Dancing Dolls traveled all night long. I've contacted major eight teams from all over the country, and over 30 teams will be hitting the floor today. So we're finally here, Hurricane Harvey Showcase. Are you excited? Woo! People paid a lot of money for these tickets to get into this event, so we had better put on a great show. 
I'm running the event today, so I'm gonna be a little bit of everywhere. You have exactly two hours to get ready and you hit the floor. Got it? Yeah. Good, let's go. Divas, we are here and we are raising money for the hurricane victims. Are y'all happy about that? Yeah. Divas, 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 go, 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 go. All right, what's up everybody? We wanna thank you guys so much for coming out to the Hurricane Harvey Showcase. This entire showcase is about dance teams coming together in unity, working together for one cause. The Divas, we, we know how to cast negativity out the door by coming and participating and showing the honor. We can all rally for a great cause. Now, give it up for Mr. Boo Boo Kenny himself, Tyree! Lord Jesus. Baby. Tell you Diana called me to host this event. Honey, I hopped on that highway, baby, and I was too, too, baby, yes. Now today, we ain't standing on the other side of the line facing off together today. Not at We're all. We're gonna be standing as one today. We ain't gonna fight today. Some of these teams came here with the clothes they had on their backs. They have a whole lot of heart and a hell of a lot of passion. And no hurricane is gonna stop them from doing what they love. Are you ready? It's a wonderful, wonderful event. We never disappoint. The divas never disappoint. Right now, seeing all of our rival teams from everywhere in one building at one time for one cause, and that's unity, and that's to make a difference and help with the victims from the hurricane destruction. Everybody is just like, let's just dance raise money, give back, and next week, I'll meet you on the floor as a rival. I brought about 20 girls with me from Compton all the way to Dallas, so we spent all this time traveling to get here and to just show up and show out. Birmingham Dancing Dolls are the babies of the brand. Literally, the diapers are coming off, and it's time for those big girl draws to be put on. Gotta do, I pay my dues like C do. I never ever tell my yeah. We've only been in the majorette world for about a few weeks, and being a part of this is very, very humble. And it is amazing that so many people are willing to travel for this event. Now I'm loving it. I'm loving every single moment. It feels good to just come out here and enjoy Majorette dancing instead of just having to deal with the drama from the coaches and the dancers. Just come out here and just enjoy. Even though there are no trophies at stake, these girls are giving it their all, and it is a beautiful thing to watch. I happened to see one of the Houston teams on a break, and I just have to hear their story. We're just all interested and want to help and want to know you guys' story. My whole family has been through hardship, so I know how it feels to need people around you to lift you up and listen. Hurricane Harvey really devastated our studio. The whole inside was completely destroyed. I really, really worked hard building my studio. And, um, I'm just trying to stay strong for my students um, because this is what Imagine how that feels. I know you, sometimes you probably feel like it's the end of the world and you just Definitely. have to start completely back over. And but I know that we're gonna make it through. We're gonna make it through this. Hugs, maybe. 
I didn't actually boo for her. going to be in the call out round with the dancing dolls are Dazzling Divas of Macon, Next Level Dance Team, and the Prancing Pearls of Excellence. Now there are no trophies in this situation. The team that wins will have money donated to charity in their name. This is a charity event. In the immortal words of Mr. J. Fink, let's get it, let's go. Show you what I'm all about. History is exactly what I'm making now to the feet. We about to oh. wear down the house, keep it G. All my girls is about to hit the ground, baby. Tell them, yeah, let's go. Cause we in control. I feel like you don't know. This is how we go. Just let the music play. Man, this ain't no joke. How I'm on my Need to make your body rock Push it to the limit And roll it, roll it Then just roll it, roll it Shake that bottom pop Shake that bottom pop Oh my God Princess is gonna throw those stunts on you They're gonna be clean because she's so little And she has no weight on her to hold her back So with that being said Princess is coming full speed ahead it's in the movement. I wanted to see Princess work the floor a little bit more. She tended to stay kind of in the same spot. Okay, Princess, here we go. You're retracting a little bit. Y'all make my hips hurt. All this hip dropping. Round one is over, and the judges are now deliberating. Everybody did a really good job. Come on now, Tyrus, what they say? You go, girl. These DDPs can talk all they want, but that does not change the fact that you are bum. All right, let's go. It's Jaylene's turn, and Jaylene's been training in dance probably her whole life, but she's never been in a call-out round, and she's never danced majorette before. So right now, it's Jaylene's opportunity to prove that you can actually handle the pressure. One of the dancers from Next Level Dance Team has a broken arm, but this guy is literally doing leaps, jumps, turns. He's not afraid. I'm like, that's probably how you broke your arm in the first place. I can't handle it. Too far, can't handle it. I'm all stuck. Better get down. Don't get too close. Better sit down. You can't handle it. Too far, can't handle it. The Next Level Dancer is a technique dancer. And he's good, but he's not Jaylene good. So give me a time, my swag is so vicious. I got all the moves, watch me hit him with the sickness. Jaylene goes out there and she does her turns. That is what she does. She's a technique dancer. 
and of course, contortion. She does her spider move, where you do a chest stand and your feet move around your body. And it usually takes one move for the crowd go crazy. That is the move that made the crowd go crazy. nervous but the next level dancer was really really good so um I'm up in the air and the winner is and the winner is hold on hold on give me just a moment I'm on Instagram they not ready yet Round two is over, and if the dancing dolls win, we win the competition. Come on, judges. And the winner is... Dancing Dolls! <laughs> I'm really proud of Princess and Jaylene, because this means that we won the call-out round. But now Christiana still got to go, so we can see if we can make this a clean sweep. Final round, let's go! for Diana to see the reason why Christiana deserves that captain spot. We've been here a very long time, have learned so many new things. So she ready, she ready for captain. walk away with money being donated in their name for charity. It's been great to see the dancing dolls go out there and use their talents for a really, really good reason outside of a trophy. <laughs> now the call out round is over, it's time for us to have our closing ceremonies. Hurricane Harvey impacted so many, and as I've told my children all week, it could be us. We are very blessed and fortunate to have what we have as coaches. We have a plaque for each and every one of you guys that we want to give you. So you guys give these coaches a round of applause, please. I've also selected a few teams from Houston to donate some money because their teams were the most affected by the Hurricane Harvey situation in Houston. Dance the Dream has floor damage, extreme floor damage, and also water damage to their ceiling. We're going to donate $1,000 to Dance the Dream to help you rebuild and help them help you get a good start. I mean, this was so generous of her to give to our organization, and I'm so grateful. I want you guys to pull yourself up by the bootstraps. Take a deep breath, because the fight is not over, because the water is gone. And now it is time for you to rebuild. I'm really glad that I was able to put this event together for a worthy cause. I was able to donate not only uniforms, but money. It may not be a lot, but it was good enough to at least be able to give them some type of support to be able to help them move forward. We have one more challenge. The coaches are about to ride the mechanical bull. Give me my cowboy hats, I'm gonna put on my glittery boots and my glittery top and show you how you ride this bull. <laughs> showcase 
this charity event, I'm going to send my coaches out for the wildest ride ever. They're gonna get their asses up on that damn bull, all in the name of charity. All right, we're gonna get started. Ride them, cowboy! Oh, God. Yeah. Oh, no. Oh, oh! did today because it's not every day that all these rival coaches will come together for a good cause. But yeah. next week, put your big girl draws on because it's time for battle. All right, you guys, thank you for coming. Can I get everybody to cheer one time?